Yeah, welcome to this video. It's step by step. Yeah, a frequent opponent and not a very comfortable one. I usually have problems against this guy. Really have a bad score. Six and a half out of 19. Let's see. Um, yeah, this is um, Queen's Gambit accepted. Hmm, I wonder. Is this a position where I can take with a knight? Hmm, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, pawn takes is very normal, but I wasn't really sure here. Okay, so knight e5 looks quite normal. Yeah, but how, how do I play this here? Hmm. Yeah, well, it's just the very normal way to do it with, with bishop back and queen d3. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, here I also have queen e4, but this is answered by f5, which looks a bit awkward. I can play... Yeah, I can always I can also play Queen H five and go for the for the sacrifices. G six bishop G six. Hmm, it's not I'm not quite sure that it is, does work. Also, Knight G six is a move. Hmm. Queen E four. There's F five. That's not not really going to work. I can retreat the bishop, but he has knight before. Okay. So, okay, he didn't play g6, but f5. Okay, so if I take e7, I have to reckon with knight f4. But I probably still have to do it. Don't really see an alternative. Okay, so knight coming to f4 possibly. I can just take on d5 as a simple move. And I probably should do that. Okay, so how do I play here? Here's possible queen b4, which is possibly awkward, attacking d4, b2 and d4. My queen here is a bit offside. I'm not sure that... It should um, it should stay there. Let's just go back here. Oh, queen g5. Why am I playing nonsense move against this guy all the time? I really don't understand that. There are some people where you just play nonsense against. Yeah, and this is... Uh, uh, yeah, great, yeah, great. g2 and c1. Just, um, just a very simple double attack. Uh, okay, there's some way to continue this f4. Okay. Uh, Check. Uh, okay, can I give, do something? I mean, okay, I'm just two pawns down. Yeah? If he's not making a mistake, I'm just losing. Uh. And uh, quite typical, I really had a nice position before I blundered. Pretty sure that was, was, was quite good. I mean, not like I was winning or anything, but it was, it was quite nice actually. Okay, so knight, is there some tricks that I can go for? I can do this and send his knight a bit offside. Is there some way with knight d7 maybe? Knight d7, rook d8. Uh, maybe this, I don't know. Don't really see something great. Hmm. 
I take knight d7, isn't this a bit uncomfortable for queen e6? Queen e6 check and then knight e5 maybe. Uh, what about f3? Can he do that? I, mean, I can pull. I can take with the pawn. It's not helping him a lot. Hmm. Yeah, he he let me back into the game. I think. Yeah. Rook d8, queen e6, check, king back, knight e5, and I'm winning, really. Knight e5 is such a huge move. Knight f7 is a is, an, is a great pin. And I'm threatening queen e6 here, not... Yeah. Check. Okay, so I have knight f7. And I have the double, double check. I can also just take d5. Maybe this is, in fact, easiest. Let's do that. I don't have much time anyway. Also attacking the knight. Maybe rook e8. But I can play knight f7, double check, queen g8 check, and rook e1. That's not working. Check. Okay. Check. Okay, if he goes to h8, check. she doesn't. Check. Check. King c7, rook d7 is winning the queen at least. Maybe I'm checkmating Check. somehow, but winning the queen is good. Check. Black resigns. Yeah, I was extremely lucky. Just overlooked the queen g5 move. Here I think I'm, I'm really, I'm okay, yeah. I mean, I should never be worse. Queen e2 is in general not not a bad idea yeah, to get the queen back from h5, but I just over. I mean, I immediately saw it, of course, as <laughs> as it happens so often. You play a, a blunder and you see it right away. Yeah, this is just just bad. I could have played queen f1, which I didn't even see. Hmm. Wow, that was a bad game. Instead, I gave away Check. those pawns here. But then he uh, completely, completely blundered the game back. I guess f4. Yeah, this is, this is losing. Yeah, the computer is giving plus two. Yeah, what he the relatively best defense is giving away the rook and avoiding the direct direct checkmate. Check. And here I'm I'm really just winning. Queen d5. And check exactly like that. I'm winning. Check. Yeah, I mean, he could have gone here. This is a bit tougher because Check. here it looks like a perpetual, but I can do this. Check. It's quite neat, eh? covering those two squares and then take here. This this would have been interesting, in fact, from a technical point of view, if I would have managed that in the time. Okay, but I, I had 40 seconds. Probably I would have. Check. Check. Yeah, this is much, much easier, of course. Check. Check. Okay. Ah, rook d8 is in fact made. Yeah, I didn't see that. Check. Rook d8. Check mate. And mate. But okay, if you can win the queen without any kind of problem, let's just let's just take it. Yeah. <laughs> and be be fine with it. Okay, I was lucky. Thanks for watching.